got this bank cleaned off here behind me. And uh, I don't know how much you can tell on the video, but when we walked the track code down there, that, that bank is just wet clay. And uh, it wanted to just slip off down into the bottom. So we had to be real careful. Uh, it was a little bit sketchy there for a few minutes. I tried to pack some back up against the bank, but it was just too wet. So we've got the banks cleaned off, I think, as much as we're going to. We got this whole side up here cleaned off and kind of leveled out. The banks cleaned off, as well as the banks over here. It's not quite as good as what I was wanting for it to come out, but the banks are just so wet, there's only so much I can do. Down in here, there's not going to be a lot we can do. It's it's just too wet. That's where another one of our seats comes out. So I may have to get in there with some hand tools and clean some of those out. But uh, I think the last thing to do is just go down here. We're gonna dig out some of the bank so we can put some red clay in uh, to pack it down real tight. That way the water don't try to seep around the bank. So I've just dug this trench here where the dam's going to be and I've done that because this soil right here is real sandy and it's got a lot of brown and gray clay in it that will seep water through. So I want to put back red dirt clay that's going to pack real tight and hopefully that won't let the water seep through the, around the dam through the bank. So that's just the reason I've dug this trench out here. So we got to go get some dirt, bring it over here and pile it up and that way I can scoop it back in here and pack it down real tight with the track coat. back of the Massey Ferguson is definitely working um, but it is taking forever I spent several hours just trying to move about one dump truck load of dirt it only moves about a wheelbarrow amount at a time so um, my neighbors just right down the road have got a skid steer I'm gonna give them a call and see if I can't borrow their skid steer for a few hours on one afternoon
I gave my neighbors a call that has a skid steer and I definitely have some great neighbors. I called them up and you know, kind of told them what I was doing. I needed to move some dirt and they're gonna let me borrow their skid steer for a few hours or pretty much however long I need it. But I shouldn't need it more than just a few hours this afternoon. So I've got to run down there and go get it. And uh, we'll see y'all back right here at the pond build in just a second. Got the dam about 90% done here. Still got to put in an overflow pipe and a little bit more dirt on top of it, get all that packed down. But the rain that we had the other night has definitely filled this up a whole lot quicker and has washed over my little coffer dam that I made. This probably would have took about a week 
or so to fill up this far and it done this overnight during that rainstorm. It still has a long way to go. We still have to fill up all the way back into here. The dam turned out a little bit wider than what I had originally planned, but I had to get the track go across so I could back in the side. Ain't no problem, just used a little bit more dirt than what I was wanting. So once this thing gets filled up, we'll definitely have a really good water source here for the farm, for our animals. You know, our pig pen is just up here with our two feeder hogs um, and our water trough right there. It'd be really easy to just pump water up there once this clears up and settles in. And our uh, barn and our barnyard is just right up here where we keep our feed and stuff. And we can get water up there pretty easily now. So once this fills up, let's think this is going to work out really, really good for the farm here. You know, since we don't have any pressurized water down here. So we've been having to transport water, you know, in, like in our totes and stuff from the house down here. And uh, I think this is just going to work out a whole lot better and be a lot quicker and simpler. And uh, I am going to fence this off with probably some electrical fencing just so the animals can't get in there. Um, obviously the, you know, the ducks will probably love swimming in it and stuff. Well, I believe this is going to be all for this video, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel to follow all of our activities here around the farm and follow along with our, on our journey. We got a whole lot more coming, a lot more things to do around the farm here. So, thank y'all for watching. We'll see you in the next one.